Today we are going to look at SAP Management Accounting also known as Controlling or CO. Let us first look at the key specialized accounting components that SAP offers and how does Management Accounting fit in. So on the left here you have uh, Treasury related functions also known as SAP Financial Supply Chain Management this component mainly concentrates on functions such as cash management, treasury management, loans and market risk management. Each function can have more than one sub-function. For example, treasury management involves funds, foreign exchange, derivatives and securities. Then we have the financial accounting component. This mainly involves the general ledger involves processing payables and receivables and asset accounting. Also we have the investment management component that supports planning, investment and finance processes for capital investment measures. And finally we have management accounting or CO. This component offers many tools that can be used to prepare operating data for business analysis and management decisions. One of the key differences between management accounting and financial accounting is that management accounting is used to generate reports for internal consumers whereas financial accounting is used for generating statutory and legal reports for external users. Although internal and external users often have different accounting requirements, much of the underlying data is relevant for both purposes. However, the data can be presented differently to satisfy the different requirements. FI reports include the profit and loss statement and the balance sheet. Managerial accounting reports can be structured individually, a common example being the plan or actual cost comparison for a specific department. Management accounting has different components. First you have the COOM which is the overhead cost controlling. COOM allocates the costs that cannot be assigned directly to the goods and services of a company according to their cause. Account assignment objects for such costs include cost centers and internal orders. Using the planning process, it is possible to plan the costs and internal activities to calculate prices for the activity types. Then you have COPC, Product Cost Accounting. COPC posts the cost for producing goods and services and in certain cases also their sales revenues to FI or to profitability and sales accounting. And then you have profitability and sales accounting which has two components COPA and PCA. Profitability and sales accounting is used for enterprise planning. However, the main focus is to determine the actual business profit and loss. The two views that are always used for this purpose include the external view of the market for analyzing profitability segments COPA and the internal view of a company's individual parts for profit center accounting. The black arrow between the management accounting components show the typical flow of cost and activity quantities such as working hours between these components. You can transfer these costs as an overhead allocation to a production order. You can also charge the costs as an overhead to the same production order as working hours. Therefore, for example, the labor costs can be calculated by multiplying the number of hours within a specific per hour rate. Similarly, costs from COOM and COPC can flow into COPA. These costs can be used to calculate operating results which means that you can calculate the profitability of the various areas. Other SAP applications can post costs or revenues to management accounting. 
postings to an expense account in FI, for example, can cause cost postings in COOM. In the same way, FI can post revenues directly to COPA. Cost flow also occur between FI and COPC when the raw material costs incurred in the production process are entered. In addition, you can see that production costs have been activated as a finished product or work in process WIP. Data created in other SAP applications can have a direct influence on management accounting. For example, if a non-stock item is purchased, an expense is posted to the general ledger. This expense is also posted as costs to a cost center or other management accounting objects. This cost center's cost can be passed on later as overhead to a production cost center or elsewhere in management accounting. Here's a quick look at the org structure and the key org units that make up management accounting. At the top, you have the operating concern. The operating concern represents the structure of external market segments for the enterprise. Then you have the controlling area. This is the basic organizational unit in management accounting. A controlling area is a closed entity used for cost accounting. You can allocate costs only within a controlling area. These allocations cannot affect objects in other controlling areas. You can assign more than one company code to a controlling area and that enables controlling across various company codes. A company code is an independent accounting unit. Financial and profit and loss statements are prepared at company code level to meet legal reporting requirements. Then you have the business areas. Business areas are used to group strategic business fields and to report in financial and profit and loss statements. Business areas can also be cross company code. Business areas are not suitable for auditing. They are only used for reporting purposes at the internal company level. Then you have the plants, which is the standard central org unit in materials management. And you have the purchase org, which is an org unit used in materials management again. And the sales org, which is a key unit in sales order management. Both the purchasing and sales org units are important for management accounting because this data needs to be included for integral business processes between logistics and accounting. So let's have a quick look in the system and see how we can do the enterprise organization level settings. So you go to customizing in SPRO and uh, under this enterprise structure node is where most of the settings related to org structure are done. So you have the assignments and you have the definitions. So in controlling, you can create an operating concern here. So all you can do is just create a name and the best thing is to just copy an existing one. So I'll just call this 10011. And then you just save it. It will ask you for a customizing request because this operating concern will need to go from the development system where you are giving these definitions onto the test and the production systems. So I've now got my new operating concern. So if I try to search for it, it's right on the top, test operating concern. Now the only thing you have here is the shell and any further work on this will need to be done in COPA. 
so you need to go down to controlling here profitability analysis structures and this is where you define the uh, further attributes of the operating concern coming back you can also maintain the controlling areas and SAP recommends that instead of creating your own you simply copy the SAP delivered controlling area and then adapt that to your specific needs so here are all the instructions that you get in customizing that will help you create the different org units correctly so press the button IMG activity documentation and it will take you to the uh, the help and the instructions for creating this specific org object some key master data in cost and revenue accounting cost element accounting uses the following master data which is the chart of accounts the primary cost elements secondary cost elements cost element category and the revenue elements the chart of accounts is based on process classification all expense accounts are grouped in a single class class 4 and all revenue accounts are grouped in class 8. This chart of account is used in standard IDIS system and uh, most of the SAP training systems. The primary cost elements enter expenses that are relevant to cost accounting in management accounting. The primary cost elements must exist as GL accounts in FI before they can be created automatically or manually in management accounting. Secondary cost elements are defined only in management accounting and used for certain internal allocations such as assessments or settlements. Secondary cost elements have no corresponding GL accounts in FI. Revenue elements are used to record revenues from FI in management accounting in a similar way to primary cost elements. Again, the revenue account must already exist in FI. Revenues can be recorded only statistically in cost center accounting CCA. Each cost element is allocated a cost element category in its master record. So let us go into the system and see how some of these elements can be created and how we work with them. So first of all, we will create a secondary cost element. So we go to accounting, controlling, cost element accounting, master data, individual processing and create a secondary cost element. So we will call it 620033 and need to make sure this is valid from the beginning of the fiscal year to the end and we press enter. So all we need to do is to give a name here and the cost element category. So let's look at the drop down here and then we can choose the correct category. So we are trying to create an internal activity. So we will choose 43 and save. So that's it. The cost element has been created. Now we will go and create two cost centers, one for service and one for production. So you have cost center accounting, master data. And you need to go to cost centers, create. So I need to change this to my new service cost center, which is 33. 
and here you need to make sure that you have the correct controlling area which for the purpose of this exercise should be 1000 so we need to change this first before we proceed further in order to change my controlling area I need to exit processing go to extras and set the correct controlling area and then I get a message that this is blocked by another user so I simply create another cost center SCRV 77 and fill in the required entries here so I enter the relevant information and I hit save and my cost center has now been created so now we've seen how to create some parts of master data let's look at how do we allocate an activity so you are in cost center accounting under controlling actual posting activity allocation and you enter so here the sending cost center is the service cost center and you're allocating 100 hours of activity from the service cost center onto the receiving cost center where the activity was undertaken. In this case, we will use the brewery cost center as an example. So the sending cost center is service. So you can quickly search for this. So you have quite a few service cost centers but what we are looking for is services and the activity type is repair. So we look for repair hours. The receiving cost center is brewery. And we choose the first one here and the total quantity you can build any quantity here let's start with 50 enter there's no error message and then you just save so the system says the document has been posted now you can quickly look at this document it takes a bit of time to get updated under this display icon 88 it might show not available yes it does but we will look at a previous document which is 84 and this is what it looks like so if you scroll down this is where you can see the activity that you have posted